there's a lot of possibilities with interactivity we haven't even touched yet. There's no reason that the content has to be stuck on the cell phone. I think it can pop off into the real world too. I went to film school and started making these films that were a little bit unorthodox. There was a lot of strange plots and <laughs> nonlinear narrative. Then I moved to New York and started doing video mapping. The new piece is called Descent. People say there's nothing more boring than hearing about someone else's dream. With this piece, I'm showing you the dream. And the dreams are based on an interview that I did with each person that's in the piece. I scanned a bunch of my friends and people that I knew with a 3D scanner and created an avatar of all these people. When you go to an art museum, some people just take a photo and they go to the next painting. But with interactive art, you have to spend longer with it. I have some sculptures that take, you know, three to four hours to experience the whole piece. Or maybe if you don't interact with it, you never see the whole piece itself. I find inspiration for my work everywhere, from the New York subway to Coney Island to books, movies, music. I'm not the kind of artist where I'm sitting at home trying to come up with an idea for something. I'm hoping to cause a, a surprise in the viewer. I watch people use my work all the time, and it doesn't bother me if they don't interact with it. That's a choice that they're making. They have their own interpretation of the work, and if they like it or not, that's up to them too. The thing I like about working in interactive media is that you can bring things off the screen and into the real world, and you can really cause this sort of amazing effect in people where they don't realize how this is possible. And I also like that it kind of mixes somewhere between the art world and the film world. So it could be in a gallery, or it could be on the street, or it could be in a museum or a library. Getting people in public and experiencing something hands-on is important. I love what I do because I get to be creative every day. It's about access, it's about experimentation, it's about creativity, pushing yourself to do something different.